this awesome 997 Turbo here. Pretty nicely equipped car. And customer complaint. Coolant light blinking on the right top side. So a couple things that will happen. This car actually has two issues. It came back from the dealer. They couldn't really diagnose why it was acting up. So the first thing was we had the purge fan fault. But this vehicle also has an issue with the thermostat slightly stuck open. So the car is not heating up normally. So you would think that's the problem. You would replace it only to come back with the same purge code and the thermostat code obviously would be gone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the cooling systems in this vehicle. This will apply to 996, 997, well, all the rest of the 911s and even Boxster and Caymans. So a couple things to know, as everybody knows, the engine's in the back on the 911. It's on center on the Cayman and Boxster. So let's open the deck lid in the back. Here's our purge fan right here. This is the unit that we're getting faults for. There's also a temp sensor that tells the fan when to kick on, when to kick off, when the cabin temperatures get too hot inside the engine compartment. So we're gonna activate it and see if it works. The dealer could not replicate the problem, so the vehicle was shipped here. It's very possible that the fan might have been working when the dealer tested it. Cool indicating blinking normally indicates a couple things. One, low on coolant. Number two, there's something else wrong with the cooling system. Could be issues with the fan. We have a fault with the engine compartment temperature, which in this case, we're actually getting an engine compartment coolant temp. Failure engine compartment fan. All right, so here we go. We're at the engine purge fan. We're gonna hit activation, all right? function running let's go back to the car it did not so that doesn't mean the fan is bad we could have a problem with the wiring or we could have an issue with something in between so what we're going to do is we're going to mechanically test this and we don't want to assume that it's a bad fan just replace it without actually doing further diagnostics so you would think they're both related when or the temperature blinks if your coolant is low you'll also have a blinking light but not to forget this vehicle is equipped with dual stage fans which are located here that cool the engine and uh, they usually go to dual stage when the ac is on and dual stage if the ac is off and cars over i believe it's uh it's right around somewhere 100 celsius they'll kick in bring it down to 90 something celsius and then go back to uh, back and forth so if the speed 2 is not coming on on these and sometimes that's an issue either on one or both that light will also blink so there's a lot of systems here for cooling this car because we have radiators in the front need to cool the engine in the back so everything is routed coolant wise here you got the center radiator which is the norm for the turbo cars gt3s there was also options you can retrofit a regular carrera and that helps to cool the car obviously the fans do a great job so all those components we test to determine where the issue lies. It's over 10 years old, due to the debris and leaves, they rot, just replace it, remove these bolts, and we're gonna test this unit on the bench. But we'll activate manually, but there is a noise in the bearing. That needs to be replaced regardless. So that could have put strain on the system inside the computer that controls this. And uh, there could be another issue, but this fan is being really, really hard to activate with a 12 volt battery versus the actual request from the computer is not even being requested. So one of the biggest problems is with electrical that we find half the time is customers want to do their own wiring because they don't want to spend the money to do it properly. So they end up tapping into computer data lines or worse here, switching grounds, and then they disable their fans. So then they end up blowing the fuses and basically screwing up the relays. So if you own a 
Porsche or any car. And if you are not a technician, please, I ask you, do not mess with your electrical. Or you will have weird issues where your car won't heat up. Or worse, not start. See this constantly. 90% of the guys that are doing this don't know what they're doing. Because they just, that's not their day job. So that's their, they shouldn't know what they're doing. So it's very rare that we find somebody that actually does something that doesn't break the car. Um, so somebody shorted out all the fuses in here as well. Um, just hooking up electrical stuff. A lot of these repairs that we do that are electrical related are directly related to the actual owner of the car messing with the car and then not telling us about it. Not in this situation. This gentleman bought the car like this. But the previous owner sure wanted to play a Porsche mechanic. Well, here we go. This beautiful 997 Turbo. At least the electrical part has been resolved. The uh, harness that connects in there. So I tested the wiring to make sure that was good. And it was good. But somebody did tap in incorrectly. And so originally when we activated the engine purge fan, it did not activate. So let's see what it does now. Because the fan was pulling too much current we measured that and it was squealing another relay or and fuse that weren't activating for the actual defroster system was because the actual wiring that goes to the computer was shorted out by somebody trying to wire things together if you hook it up wrong if you're not familiar with electronics do not mess with it that's our recommendation. Anyways, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.